Hi everyone, I am Jason Morgan, editor of Fleet Equipment, and welcome to Fleet Equipment Unscripted, the video interview series that connects you with the top minds of the trucking industry. Today, we're talking with Chris Mazaki, director of OEM integrations at Sam Sara. Chris, how are you? Uh, a new uh, face here to Fleet Equipment, and uh, I know we talked a little bit here a, a moment ago, background on the on the industry. Um, uh, tell us a little bit about the company, uh, just in kind of uh, the background and, and uh, what you're working with in terms of fleets right now. Yeah, absolutely. Excited to be here. Thanks, uh, thanks, thanks for for taking the time out of your day uh, to, to to meet with me. So, uh, Chris Mazaki, I look after OEM integrations with Samsara. Um, for folks who are unfamiliar with who Samsara is, you know, we're really an industrial Internet of Things company, a technology company, uh, focused on serving about 15,000 customers uh, across a wide range of industries who really power the, the, the key operational infrastructure of our economy. Um, this is a lot of the essential services we've come to rely on today, um, but also previously, so things like transportation, manufacturing, construction, uh, food and beverage, state and local governments, those, those are just a number of the major customers that we have today. Um, and really the value that we bring to our customers is around connecting data sources and being able to turn those data sources into actionable insights and workflows that power the most uh, critical aspects of a customer's business. Um, today, we source data from a wide range of sources, from factory installed telematics, so we'll talk a little bit about the Ford announcement, um, to some of the hardware that Samsara has developed and installed for our customers, uh, to even the dash cams in vehicles. Um, and our platform is really about pulling that data and really the insights that come off of that data from all those different sources into one seamless, easy to use uh, user experience uh, that our customers use to run the the day to day aspects of their business. Right, for sure. Uh, so you you mentioned and alluded to it there recently. You uh, announced a Ford uh, telematics integration right with the hardware, and this really uh, caught my attention too because. Uh, outside of just the cool functionality that it allows uh, those users, I kind of see this also being a, kind of a glimpse as maybe what's ahead in the uh, in the larger market as well, the Class Eight market, right? Of as as the trend towards um, uh, kind of integrated hardware on vehicles, uh, and then having third party uh, solutions providers like yourself having to integrate uh, there, right? not having not putting your own hardware on it but integrating directly with that hardware can you give us a little background on that ford partnership announcement how long have you been working on it and and kind of what went into growing that being able to integrate onto their hardware platform absolutely yes yeah, so um so excited to, to announce uh we, we did through uh, a few channels the ford uh, the ford integration uh with ford data services so th this is this is a part. This is um, this is an integration we've been uh, building out uh, alongside for really the last couple months. Uh, if you think about the technical aspects, of how do we get the two systems to talk to each other, as well as all the business and the legal aspects as well. Um, and really, the the great thing about what this integration does is it does allow you know Samsara customers to have direct access to data surfaced by the embedded telematics devices on Ford vehicles. So right now, that looks like most modern mo model year. Uh, 2018 and newer uh, Ford vehicles with the right equipment package. Um, these will all be rolling off the assembly line really in model year 2020 or newer with those embedded telematics devices. Uh, and uh, through, uh, you know, through the, the integration with Samsara, uh, our customers will be able to have direct access to that data. Uh, and so the great thing about this, right, is that data will come directly into the Samsara platform and live seamlessly alongside data sourced from other either OEM uh, uh, vehicles that may be in a customer's fleet or any of the Samsara hardware that's been installed in the field. Uh, many of our customers have big mixed fleets, and so they may have a lot of Fords, they may have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, pieces of Caterpillar equipment, if you think about it from a construction uh, customer standpoint, uh, maybe a few Class A trucks to haul things back and forth, and all of that data will ultimately be visible into the Samsara platform. Very cool. So can you give me kind of a, a real-world example of, of what that uh, direct hardware integration with Ford kind of gives you an invisibility, maybe versus, uh, you know, a, a hardware device you plug into the truck yourself. What's the difference there? Why is that important? Yeah, you know, I, I think the biggest difference really comes down to simplicity and ease of installation, right? And so, again, kind of thinking through that kind of construction customer example, they probably have a bunch of trucks at a bunch of different sites across, uh, you know, across a number of different locations. Uh, with uh, Ford and the cloud-based integration, uh, it's as simple as logging into the Samsara portal, 
uh, which will connect you to the Ford portal, entering the appropriate credentials, and then literally kind of going down a checklist of all of the Ford vehicles you'd like to import in the same SARA platform. And then after you complete that, roughly 30 seconds later, that process is complete and the data will start flowing into the same SARA platform. And so you think about the, just the operational time savings of not having to go out in the field, physically plug a device into the OBD2 port. Um, that's just a big savings for customers just in terms of efficiency, especially in the current environment when uh, folks are restricted in travel and there's additional concerns associated with that. Um, but I, I want to also answer your second question about what, what new stuff do you get, right, uh, in terms of the data access integration from, uh, from, from Ford? Um, so uh, our devices, and, 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 and uh, you know, we, we've been we've been at this for about five years now. But our devices pull a lot of really great intelligence off the Ford vehicle. Um, but nobody knows Ford diagnostics and Ford maintenance better than Ford does. And so, as much as we're able to surface diagnostic codes to help customers with maintenance workflows, Ford would really be you know in best position to be able to surface. OEM manufacturer grade data of uh, of those those maintenance and those vehicle health insights. And then there's one other thing kind of worth noting there as well. Uh, there's a lot of data uh, that uh, vehicles collect and produce that they actually don't push over the CAN, the CAN network by where you would have access via the OBD2 or some sort of physical connection. You know, a prime example of this is seatbelt status, various seatbelt positions in the vehicle. Uh, that's not something that's traditionally transmitted over the CAN. Because um, because you know it's just it's, it connects with other subsystems within within uh, uh, with, within the vehicle and so uh, insights like that are incredibly important for you know for our customers who are running safety programs that may be combining uh, Simsar's dash cams as part of like a safety coaching program but also being able to read seatbelt status something so foundational to uh, kind of a safety program uh, that's another way in which that I think this will add a lot of value for uh, for our customers. For sure, for sure, very interesting. And, and then the other part you mentioned here, kind of on your side of displaying all this information, getting all the information that, that the fleets need. Uh, Ford commercial vehicles, you mentioned construction, but there's a wide range of applications that are going to have huge different data points as to what fleets are going to want to look for to, to improve the business. How are you able to slice and dice that and really get the information that, that the fleets need for that application in front of them? Do they? How do you get it to them so they don't have to go digging through it to find it? Yeah, it's, it's a it's a fantastic question. Um, so, regardless of what type of fleet you have, there's a lot of information uh, that you want to have uh, kind of close at your fingertips. Like, where are my assets? Are they moving or not moving? Um, all of those things are are, are made um, uh, you know, clearly visible to customers in the Samsara platform. Whether or not the data is sourced from a uh, for data services connected, or it's a, uh, a piece of hardware plugged into a Ford device that that information is sourced, right? Um, you know, I, I think uh, as as we start to look at different industries, you can start to drill in where their use cases in terms of the technology platform may be different. Um, and I can highlight a little bit more about how that data is seamlessly integrated, right? So if, you know, if you're a customer who's in last mile delivery, you may have a fleet of you know, transit vans, um, you know, and maybe a few other uh, vehicles kind of in your fleet that you're using just for that last mile delivery. Um, so those customers would be taking advantage of our uh, routing and dispatch workflows. So the, the data that's sourced by Ford would be uh, seamlessly piped to those routing and dispatch workflows. Uh, and again, live right alongside any data that's sourced from our, our, our hardware solution that we had, uh, we've given to those customers. I think on the other end of the spectrum, right, if you're using many larger vehicles and they may be the Ford Super Duties that are upfitted with, uh, with kind of additional uh, capabilities, like you're in field services, you're working on power lines, uh, like some of our, our customers in the, the, uh, the, the power industry, um, you know, those customers would be using our solution for ELD and hours of service requirements. Uh, and so, if you think about all the compliance components that come around that, uh, we've, we've made the compliance workflow front and center for those customers. But really, it's a it's it's uh, we've made this data available for our customers to consume, regardless of what workflows they ultimately prioritize. Um, and once a customer has gone into the Samsung platform and set up uh, the experience they 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 wish to have, uh, it's very intuitive to be able to kind of uh, you know, click, so to speak, into the workflows right. that you want to uh, uh, operationalize on the, the the most regular basis. And the Samsara, or the four data lives uh, alongside the Samsara data, uh, empowering those workflows. Right. Okay. Very cool. Um, 
Yeah. You know, stepping back a little bit in terms of just overall integrations, right? We've been writing a lot about uh, data integrations for a number of the years. And, I, you know, it, when you talk about it, it can sound easy. It's just like, oh, yeah, integration. You plug these things in. But the reality of it is uh, not only is it, can the data work be messy, but also the relationships can get a little difficult, right? You got to have different companies opening up, sharing data to, to benefit the customer. From your point of view in doing a lot of these integrations, what can the fleets or customers do or ask of their, their service providers themselves to bring them to the table and get that, get the, the data uh, uh, integrated where they need it? No, that's a fantastic question. So um, the one thing fleets should all um, uh, feel fantastic about is uh, fleets have tremendous influence and power over an OEM's decisions about where they may direct that customer's data. Um, you know, if, if there's an OEM that your telematics or your service provider isn't working with, you know, that's that's a fantastic opportunity for 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 a fleet to pick up the phone, talk to their fleet manager, uh, talk to that OEM, uh, and say, hey, it's super important for you to share, you know, my data about my data about my fleet with Samsara, with you know whoever else they choose to do business with, um, and and ultimately kind of make sure that that integration uh, is, is is made available. Yeah, I think. But if you put yourself kind of back in my shoes in terms of the service provider, um, much of our product development is focused on uh, customer feedback. So we're, we're, we're very rigorous about speaking to our customers on a regular basis. And that's really what's rooted uh, this path towards OEM partnerships. And so we did announce Caterpillar and John Deere uh, you know, about a month ago in terms of those OEM integrations. That was strongly rooted in customer feedback. That, um, that kind of story or that anecdote that I teed up before about a construction customer who has a bunch of pieces of equipment. Now, imagine they're in super remote locations because you're doing construction or you're doing agriculture. You know, that just makes the, uh, the case for that seam seamless and easy uh, installation that much more, more powerful. And so I just kind of cite that as, uh, as an example. That's why we kind of spun up and started pursuing those integrations. You know, Ford is among the most popular light duty uh, vehicles, uh, both in the industry, but also within our customer portfolio. So we heard loud and clear that getting access to the Ford data was going to be critical. And we're continuing to hear customers and listen to customers as we plot out and develop our roadmap for what it looks like for both uh, heavy duty and, and, and more of the medium duty uh, uh, trucks as well. Yeah, for sure, and and something we're watching uh, really closely as well as 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 I said on, in the Class A world, those kinds of integrated hardwares will be coming down the line, and mm -hmm. these kind of conversations will become ever more important uh, for fleets of all sizes. Mm -hmm. I think. Absolutely, Chris. Thanks for taking the time. Good catching up with you. I'm sure we will talk to you again soon, and uh, have a good one. Absolutely, you too. Thank you.